In this work we propose deep screen space, a method to overcome the limitations of common screen space shading but retaining a similar efficiency. The scene you see is shaded in 30 milliseconds using our new approach. Consider a classic frame buffer, here shown in low resolution. Moving the camera produces a deferred shading buffer with partial information only, here seen from a different view. It is good that more samples are produced near the camera, but there is no reason not to have samples on the back sides, indicated by the arrow, or under grazing angles. In our approach, we produce a deep frame buffer, in which similarly more circles are created close to the camera, but without the limitations a common frame buffer has. In this comparison you see how occluded, out of frustrum and oblique surfaces are still present to contribute to the shading. In the following we will extensively compare deep frame buffers to common frame buffers and reference solutions. For ambient occlusion, computed using state-of-the-art, horizon-based AO, the shower door effect is visible as details appear and disappear. Our result looks different and shading actually appears to be part of the 3D scene. Compared to a ray tracing reference, although noisy, our solution looks more similar. Here, all three techniques next to each other. Our solution has speed similar to screen space and quality similar to the reference. Next, we compare directional occlusion which produces color shadows. For directional occlusion in screen space, the effect size either has to be small or the computation becomes slow. Using our approach, we achieve better quality and, for this effect size, also higher speed. Again, ours looks more similar to the reference. A comparison for indirect lighting, here glossy. Only the indirect light is shown. Again, the screen space method only captures short range effects and becomes slow when the radius gets larger. Our approach again is faster at higher quality and appears more similar to the reference. Subsurface scattering is easy to compute in screen space, yielding good results for short scattering distances and when light and observer are on the same side of the geometry. Using our approach, long range effects and scattering from light that was not in the frame buffer can be captured. We finally show how our method is temporally coherent for ambient occlusion, directional occlusion, specular bounces, as well as subsurface scattering. Thank you.